cool. Uh, Hi, and welcome to the SEO podcast, Unknown Secrets of Internet Marketing. My name is Chris Burris, owner of eWeb Results. I am Charles Lewis, your client results advocate. Yeah. Welcome back to another fun-filled <laughs> edition of our podcast. Yes. This is podcast number 292. 292. 292. I don't know where 80 came from. Yeah. I can't. The reason right. is I was trying to cheat and pretend that I knew it and look at the screen there and yeah, it was yeah, a little yeah. small. Yeah. As always, we do have a tip from our previous podcast and our tip is ask for engagement when posting socially. Yeah, when well, anytime you're posting socially, right, and that's a, a Facebook post, a Twitter post, or anything like that, like, Ask for that engagement. Understand if you ask people would typically follow those instructions. What type of engagement? Maybe you wrote a post and that post you had some great content, I don't know, maybe about your product or service. And so now you want people to engage with that post. You want them to comment, you want them to like it, you want them to share it, you want them to retweet it. Whatever that post engagement is that you desire, ask for it. If you ask for it, they will likely do it. At least a small percentage of them. And if you do that consistently, let's say over the course of six months, 12 months, then you begin to have a lot more posts that have active engagement. Absolutely. All right, so that was uh, ask for engagement when ask posting engagement. socially. Yeah. Very good. All right, hey, we are broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, yep. and we are your friendly local neighborhood top, top position snatchers. And our mantra is, Oh, don't be a douche. Don't be a douche. We've got an article today, eight most common but simply missed opportunities and optimizing content. And this is a great article, man. Punch in the face to Janet, Janet Driscoll, and the good folks over at uh, Search Engine Land. Yeah, eight most common but simple missed. And we come into that a lot. Yeah. People who come to us, they say, man, we've got a website that's optimized. We're doing this, we're doing that. And as soon as we look at it, we're like, yeah, but you missed this, this, this. And that yeah. pretty much common things. Right. Matter of fact, I had that experience earlier today. <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, we'll dive in a little later. Awesome. Uh, let's see. If you are in a position to, and you have a device, we would like you to tweet. And Chuck, what should they tweet? Well, if you're watching, then you know what to tweet. If you look behind us, hashtag SEO podcast. This is number two ninety two. Be sure to tag us in it at eWeb Results at Best SEO Podcast. That way, we can follow you back and do all of our social networking. Stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, if this is the first time you're listening to this podcast, howdy, welcome. We're actually waving at you because you can mm -hmm. find the video on YouTube and uh, and you can watch us broadcast podcast live on Fridays. Uh, if, uh, if you've listened to this podcast before, then you know that if we got a review and we got more than 10 uh, favorable instances, mm -hmm. we'll call it for now, uh, on any one of the social platforms, then we skip the section where we tell you how to write reviews and guess what? Yeah, we got more than 10. I had a lot of Twitter activity going on. A lot of Twitter activity going on, man. So now we just rolled out the new company name. We were eWeb Style. We're now eWeb Results. Uh, in order to manage that transition, and because we have 280 podcasts or 289 podcasts that mention you know, twitter.com slash mm -hmm. eWeb style, we have to keep our eWeb style. So a lot of companies, when they change, they, you know, can they be pretty just easy. Change it. We've got to keep the old ones, got to uh, migrate to the new ones. Now, the real interesting thing is, is how are we going to manage this contest anymore, right? So I can tell you, eWeb results, I just went through all my friends and oh, said, hey, invite, followers. like, follow, yeah. you know, follow this page. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do. We'll just play it by ear as we, as we move forward. Yeah, we're waiting on Twitter to give us access to their domain so we can redirect their URL. <laughs> our can new give platform. us a 301 redirect Yeah, option. give us a 301 for our old name. Oh, that, yeah, that would be they awesome. They probably should do that. They like, just do it. Well, see, in our case, we still even that we don't want because um, our podcasts are going to be available for years, for decades, right? Yep. Um, some of them will be very relevant. Some of them, frankly, will be totally irrelevant. Actually, yep. most of them will, will be, be relevant. Will. And some of them will be totally irrelevant, right? I mean, you're always going to need to have your title. To, I mean, well, there yeah, are some basics some, will work, but yeah, I got you. Like, like for example... All of those podcasts we had about authorship. Irrelevant. Finito. Totally irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. Man, we should almost go back to those podcasts and say, this is no longer relevant. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So um, so as we move forward, we'll figure out how we're going to balance that with the uh, with the other, with uh, the other platforms. Names, yeah. So we are skipping the review part where we ask, tell you exactly where to write our reviews. We will say, hey, go on to one of our platforms, write a review. We prefer Stitcher. Um, next, and although next time we're going to come out with Yelp because mm -hmm. we don't have any reviews on Yelp. Uh, next, 
Uh, we have ways for you guys to engage with us, yeah. connect with us, make contact with us, ask questions of us. And all of those are like twitter.com slash eWeb results, youtube.com slash eWeb results, facebook.com slash eWeb results, and instagram.com slash eWeb results. I think that one might not be ready yet. We'll have to make sure we'll that, that that one's ready. Um, yeah. So excellent. Those always, okay. when you go there, connect with us and ask us questions because we love to answer questions yeah. uh, on our podcast. We do. tag us in your post. Yep. Right, baby? You're posting something and it's just something you think we'd be interested in or we laugh at or we get a kick out of. Tag us in it. Yep. We'll check it out. We'll give you a punch in the face. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. If you are a PHP expert or a WordPress guru, Hey, we're probably looking for your talent, yep. so give us a call, 713-510-7846, and uh, just leave an audio message when you get there. And uh, we have a free website analysis. If you go to our website, eWebResults.com, just click into one more page because it's easier, and you will find a website analysis form uh, over on the right sidebar. And we will get that. If you're in a hurry, please reach, yeah, out, to reach us, out to us, either via email, podcast at ewebresults.com, mm -hmm. or uh, call us or whatever. Just reach out to us, and we'll speed that up. It is now time for the favorite segment of the podcast, the, the Algorithm, algorithm Cataclysm. That's a good one. Why you have to tune in for <laughs> to watch just that. that. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're listening, then that makes no sense to you whatsoever. Yeah. If you're watching, you totally get it. Yeah. Uh, so dig this, though. Algo Cat this week. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting. PPC related. Right. I brought it to you because it affects the search and the results page. Okay. And so anytime that happens, I think it's cataclysmic worthy. Yep. Then they're going to dynamically Adjust pull them. some stuff, content from your site and display the site links they think are relevant to that search query. Which Google probably will do a great job at that. They seem to be good at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, if you can dictate it and control it and make the links that you want to show display instead to your, you know, to, to your conversion page, buy now, to your yeah. buy page or to a, a page where you have some new addresses. If you need IP addresses, and by the way, you get them from that organization if you're an ISP or something, um, you're, you go on a wait list now. Wow. And uh, and yeah, what was? But what are you waiting for? Like somebody to be done with theirs? Like I ain't using this IP. Yeah, before. yeah. So if somebody goes out of business or whatever, you know, those IPs are are are, are kind of reabsorbed back into the organization. I'm sure it has it's a kind name. Kind of like phone numbers. Yeah, they yeah. Recycled. Yep, they get recycled. Um, what was interesting? So you that guys sucks. may you be able to watch who IP you <laughs> had before. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, I've turned on multiple IP addresses for outbound email for our clients on our email because mm -hmm. outbound blacklisted IP addresses are a dime a dozen. Um, by the way, I'm not paying for them. <laughs> I'm actually not paying anything. Maybe if I paid a dime, uh, a dozen, one yeah. out of the dozen wouldn't would be good. Um, and so it, you know, I end up having to chase down blacklist stuff and and get them off of blacklist and make sure that they're you know all the reverse lookup and everything is done well. So. Um, yeah, that's a problem of, mm -hmm. of using a reused IP address. And that's just within the uh, kind of network operating yeah. center that we use. Uh, so the next version is IPv6, mm -hmm. right? And IPv6 has some interesting facts. Uh, the number of IP addresses that exist in IPv6 is 340 unidecillion. <laughs> yeah, don't look at me like that number doesn't actually exist. Because it does. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it does. Neither you nor I have heard of it well, prior to that today. That loop was actually trying to figure out how many zeros yeah. is that. There you go. 36. 30 it's 30. I knew it was more than 20. Yeah. Wow. It's 36 zeros uh, after whatever the first nuts. After the 340 is 36 zeros. So wow. uh, it's a large amount. Yes, we were talking right before the podcast. You know. So, wow. so I was on a website looking at IPv4 and you know, you go into the comments and some guy, this is like two years ago, I'd said, there's like 2 billion IP addresses in IPv4. Why would we ever need more than that? This is all ridiculous. Well, now we run out um, yeah. and, and we're talking, yeah, how, how do you not get it? You know, yes, two years ago, we probably wouldn't have thought this, but our sneakers will probably have IP addresses, well, right? Well, even, even on a more realistic approach that'll likely have that's happening now. Right. If you're in a smart home, Dude, your AC has IP, your refrigerator has an IP, all of these things that you can control your remotely. Your cameras have IP. Yeah, everything's online. Now, and a lot of those may be hidden, right, be behind or a, shared or behind some sort a of mat, right? Mm -hmm. um, but they have them. And if you're going to go out into the, you know, into the world not behind your network, right, then you need, you need an IP, IP. address. Yeah. So 
yeah, it's pretty, pretty. It was pretty obvious that we're gonna need more. So the the new ones are those a uh, uh, aren't those a combination of uh, Letters, alphanumeric? Yes. Okay. So, I so. that's the, how you can get to what was the number point? The, yeah, the yeah. Unidecillion. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. have to have no, undecillion, undecillion. Yeah. yeah. So undecillion. So the days of oh, hey, indecillion. No, <laughs> <laughs> extra decillion is that one extra so the days of you know being on the phone and like hey you know i know i sent you it but let's just read it back to me so uh so that we can confirm we're using the right ip address because oh, you're no, doing the one nine two dot two five four dot blah blah that's out the it's window. like 26 letters yeah, yeah it's like yeah. super califragilistic yeah how do i get it to you what's your phone number i'll text it to you yeah. or something yeah so very interesting in fact you could probably get into a niche of I'm the fastest IPv6 typer on the planet. Um, all right, next. I just thought this was interesting. Game actors going on strike. Right? So, you know there's actors for all of these video games, PS3, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever the video game is. And they do voiceovers, mm -hmm. and then they also do, like, they'll put the tennis balls yeah, on and they, and they do, do the, the things. Mm -hmm. Right? So, um, one of the things they're looking for is to get increased pay, like stunt pay, for scenes where they need to scream, right? So you're in some war game and you got to scream and they want stunt pay. Really? They also want uh, a two hour limit on that type of stuff. Now, you, you're a rapper, so you've you've gone hours like talking, rapping, whatever, and you can end up hoarse. Yeah. So you can probably appreciate two hours of screaming for a video game. You probably can't work the next day or you're right on the edge, right? I, yeah. it's. It sounds hokey. It, it does, but then at the same time, I'm kind of like, you know, when I go horse after doing that, it's because I've done, you know, 12 different songs. Right. <laughs> how I, how many different screams? <laughs> right, but ha but so for, oh yeah, so I guess it's part of, you know, follow me, here we come. You know, you can scream for two hours, I guess, yeah. Here's your script. <laughs> <laughs> Attack! Yeah. The zombies are coming! Ah, and then they switch games. We need you on this game as well. Now it's a sports game. Woo! The yeah. whole set of screams, right? <laughs> whole set of cheering screams. And now you're on a fight game. Now you got a whole set of fighting screams. Yeah. So uh, maybe from that perspective, yeah, you could be screaming for two hours. Yeah. Easy. It's kind of crazy. Hey, I thought this was cool. So I went to a... a an Personally, a, I would have just asked for royalties. <laughs> like, and that's they actually... They have that, too. Actually, that's one of their things okay. that they're going after, too, which is if a game hits two a million in sales or something, or every million in sales, they get some sort yeah. of bonus, which is, you know, that's that's reasonable, uh, I guess. Like, it seems to me that if I... If, if, if Like, I'm funding this, and I just want a voice, right... Yeah, I'll just pay for that voice. A voice, and why should you get more? Because I marketed it geniusly, and I created the game geniusly. And yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, it just depends on that voice. Yeah. It depends on the voice. So uh, I thought this was cool. I was going to a networking event last night. Uh, my business coach was going to meet me there, and I sent him a text saying, hey, there's a pothole, because he's got a, one of the Tesla. brand new Teslas, yeah. right? So as we're leaving, I was like, did you see that pothole? He goes, oh, yeah, I did. I was going real slow. I set my car to raise up. I was like, the, really? I didn't know the Tesla's right. So they raise up. Not only that, they remember the spot. So when, when you, you go over it again, like, oh, hold on. you don't have to you gotta raise up right here. <laughs> it raises up and then goes back. Oh, that I, I was like, okay. Yeah, when your car costs that much money, yeah. it, it should do it that. It should raise up, yeah. yeah. It should even like pull up a little skirt or something. Yeah. <laughs> when it got out of laid a jacket down, like, <laughs> you should go across this puddle the right way. Uh, and then this one was awesome. There's a, a somebody was putting together show, kind of show how you can build social credibility online. Mm -hmm. uh, the business was called Freak, Freaking Awesome Karaoke Express, which has an anagram. Is that right? Acronym. Acronym of fake. So they made a fake business, and then they went out and purchased <laughs> like you know fake likes from Facebook, or reviews, or whatever. Now we give Yelp a hard time all the time, <laughs> right? Brilliant, by the way. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The only <laughs> review site that kept them off of their front page was Yelp. Was Yelp. Makes sense. If I'm Yelp, I'm like, man, no, dog. But you know, we'd give them such a hard time. Yeah. Hey, you know what? They're doing some things right. Gotta say that. You got any uh, any news or? Anything? Yeah, I got a little news. I got a little news. So a few months ago, we reported um, uh, breaking records for Instagram, right? Right, right. We reported 300 million 300 active million. users. Wow. So we hit literally nine months later, they just hit 400 million 
monthly active users. Dig this, 75% of them live outside the United States. Instagram's 400 million users are publishing a collective of 80 million photos per day. Yeah, it's insane, right? That, that's a lot of data. Yeah, eighty million photos a day. So remember, yeah. we used to whine because your, you know, your camera can't hold ten <laughs> or twenty, right? Yeah. I got, oh, I got to, I got to delete one before I can take another one, and they're storing all, all of, of these. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And so yeah, that was that was my news right there. Cool. I got well, a couple of tips. All right, let's do a patif. Man, so punch in the face, man. This punch in the face goes <laughs> to. Uh, at Kelly Couture. That's she a hit, good thing, by the that's way. a good thing. Punching the face is yeah. a great thing. Yeah. Uh, at Kelly C- uh, Coulter, she right. hit us up. She says, um, at eWebStyle, autoplay on a website audio, that's a douche move. So true. One of my biggest pet peeves <laughs> at Best SEO Podcast. Punching the face to you, Kelly, is a, a douche move for us as well. She's responding to last podcast yeah. when we talked about, you know, people autoplaying audio. It's cool to autoplay video because when they hear the sound and there's a visual and it makes sense, but when you autoplay audio and people can't find the pause, can't find a way to turn it off, it's just really, really annoying. We do need to fix that one website of ours that I was looking at earlier where the audio, where the video plays, it's big and prominent and it was pretty loud. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, oh yeah, what yeah, you call it? We'll get that one fixed. Uh, then my other one is on to HostWorks. She hit us up on Twitter, at HostWorks. She said, hey, at eWebStyle, I love your podcast. Yeah. Well, punch in the face to you. Thank you for tuning in. Host does Appreciate work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my pitis. Cool. All right. So I have, uh, I was able to, I was getting sad. I was like, all right, get the tattoo guy lined up because we didn't have one here, here, and here. And definitely didn't have one on Stitcher, which you could go leave a review over there and maybe you could make it five, five stars. All right. This one is very helpful and entertaining. And it is five stars by C. Paisley from the United States, September 1st, 2015. It says, thanks to these guys for taking the time to provide this free info to help businesses with internet marketing. Enjoy listening to the shows. Patif, Mr. C. Paisley. Paisley, Punch in the face to you, dude. Boom. Appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Paisley, by the way, is my mom's favorite print. Okay. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah. It it, it makes sense. For For her generation. (laughs) All right, so. uh, Not only hers, but everybody that she was friends with. Yeah. Loves (laughs) Loves <laughs> the Paisley. Paisley. All right, so uh, that is the potatoes of our podcast. Time to get into the meat. So, like, 